back on the Bronx Journal with our guest, Fabricio Caro. So, um, what are the requirements in the process to the summer internship program? Well, as, as the majority of our programs, you have to either live in the Bronx or attend schools in the Bronx. Um, you either have to be from your junior year or entering your junior year as of the fall, uh, of the fall of the following semester, all the way till the sophomore year of college are you eligible to participate in this program. So if you're in your junior, senior year of high school, you're freshman and sophomore year. Also, you must have a 2.5 GPA uh, requirement, which in turn is a 75 percentile or higher. Mm. And then on top of that, you have to demonstrate a strong interest in health career. And I emphasize that because students generally come up to me and say, uh, what about my grades? Or do you only look for your, for your 4.0 or 3.0 students? And I give them the same response. I look for my competent Bs and my potential Cs, and I'll also look at my high achieving students. But overall, it's in the way that you present yourself in this application and in your essays of how interested you are in pursuing a health career and what that means to you. Uh, and also the underlying factor that you have to be a U.S. resident or permanent, or permanent citizen, or permanent resident or U.S. citizen. So what you want, basically, is dedicated people. Dedicated people uh, wanting to make a change and wanting to impact uh, a change in these statistics, I would say, of the low number of Latinos and African Americans that are present or represent the healthcare workforce. We need to increase those numbers, not only to better ourselves, but also to better the health of our community. All right. So how will this help students along the way? How? Well, think about it on threefold. You're getting exposed to health careers, one. Two, you're gaining access to a path that you basically are navigating through in terms of college awareness and at the same time financial aid awareness. So if you're from a socioeconomic background that is not as great, we're providing all these resources so that you can think about going to college or taking the next step and also seeing it as a reality. And finally, uh, the, you know, most of our programs are stipend based, so it is money incentive as well. Students have to work, so we provide a stipend for students as well. Okay, so what kind of money do they get? Okay, well for the summer health internship in particular, uh, high school students receive a $800 stipend for the six weeks, and for college students, $1,000 stipend. So you're looking for students who are decided, but what about the students who are undecisive? And they think they want to go, but not really. Well, we have other programs for them. Um, we do have our mentorship programs that happen throughout the year. Mm -hmm. If they're not too sure and want a more extensive program uh, instead of a more intense program that only ranges from six weeks, they can join our mentorship program that happens throughout the year, the academic year. And that's open generally for sophomores to high schoolers and also some undergraduates uh, in their freshman year. And what it is, it connects students to local community hospital or community health center. And basically they're provided the same framework as our summer health internship program, but spanned out through a year. So they are receiving the didactic workshops, which encompass everything that I mentioned in terms of health career awareness, health disparity awareness, college admissions and everything like that. And at the same time, they're gaining the career experience, but more throughout the year. So not as intense and overwhelming, but more as a time to decide and reflect on, is a health career right for me or not? All right. So is this internship a one-on-one -on -one basis? Um, technically, yes. There has been occasions where preceptors have taken all the students and clumped them up into one group to do like a public health project or a public advocacy segment. Uh, in which students have to work together. Uh, but generally, yes, it is one-on-one, -on -one, and what we do require out of our partners, our preceptors, is that they take time out of their busy schedules as health professionals and actually sit down and try to change the lives of these students that are entering this program. All right. So how many students are chosen for this program? Um, each year we recruit, well, in terms of applications, we receive numerous, and I mean numerous, I mean, it's up in the thousands, I would say. Mm. But it's kind of hard, you know, selecting students and rating them on a level from four to one and then selecting or handpicking the best out of the best in terms of interest and the overall, uh, the overall portfolio of each student. Um, but in terms of the cohort, we select about 40, 35 to 40 students each summer. Mm. 
but for the academic year programs, uh, it depends on the school. We may select from 20 uh, at one school, or we may select 15 at another school. So are, have the students been known to receive jobs through this program? Uh, in particular to the Summer Health Internship Program, yes. Um, but not in terms of the clinical end because they're still in their undergraduate years. But the freshmen and sophomores that are in college that have participated in the Summer Health Internship Program, last year, for example, I'll use the, I'll use the statistic, 30 to 40 percent of our students were offered uh, part-time administrative work. Uh, roles at the sites that they worked at. So yes, you know, there's a possibility of career after the programs. Um, on the graduate level, we have a program called SEARCH, which is a student experience and research in community health. Um, students do their rotation for their medical schools in medically underserved areas or health profession shortage areas. After that rotation is complete, um, I would say about 15% of students do stay in that area and continue to work for that site as well. All right, so you have one minute to convince the audience why they should go to your health care and, you know, what you would provide for them. And I would provide a glimpse of your future. Health careers in a nutshell and why health careers are good mm -hmm. and the importance of being an underrepresented minority and finding a goal and a dream that fits for you. All right, well... So do you have any contact information? Where can people reach you and get started on this program? Okay, well, once again, we're located out of Lehman College, out of Carmen Hall, room 241. Uh, you can reach us at our phone line, 718-590-1110, or if not, by fax, 718-590-4300, or since it's the modern day of the World Wide Web technology, uh, technology uh, through email. My email is Fabricio, F-A-B-R-I-C-I-O dot Caro, C-A-R-O at Lehman dot CUNY, C-U-N-Y dot E-D-U. Or if not, you can go to our website, www.bwahec dot O-R-G. Or if not, the most modern way of social networking, we have a Facebook page as well. Bronx Westchester Area Health Education Center.